soon. All right, guys, and since I do have gun nut rank four, I can now put on a better receiver for this hunting rifle. So yeah, the 50 caliber is on it right now, and that goes really fast. But we have my cyclic receiver. Oh boy, what does it do? It's just the 50 caliber receiver, but I guess it does a little more damage. Has good reload speed and improved accuracy. And I know this because I made the fucking thing. Uh, but you'll notice, look at look at that fire rate. So 50 receiver, it's at 4, 3 for 38, you know, whatever. That's really slow. And it's like, oh, why does it why is it so high on these other fucking things? Well that's because let's just Oh, no, actually, I should show a demonstration first. So here's our hunting rifle. And this is how fast it shoots. And then in third person, we can still see if it has the... <gasps> oh my god. Wait. Oh no, it's still bugged in third person. The bug is just when you aim in with the scope. If you know scope, it doesn't happen. And if you didn't catch that, uh, when you shoot while scoped, when it does the animation, it forces a reload. So it's good to see that is still in the game. Because uh, third person is such such a useful feature when a bunch of shit's broken in it. Now let's take a look at what this bad boy does. Oh, did you notice? I didn't need to pull the bolt back. Boom, and th this is as fast as I could shoot right here. Um, so now it's just a semi-automatic sniper rifle. Uh, and it shoots a little faster with the other cyclic receivers because they're, they're a lesser ammo type. Oh gosh, but you know, you can't exactly spam it with the, uh, hmm, because that, yeah, oh, oh, look at that jump. They gotta be real close if you want to do that. But hey, at least the option's there now, although it is, it is kind of silly because, you know, the whole bolt is still there. But I mean, uh, unfortunately, I cannot remove the bolt. Uh, but you know what? I wanted my semi-automatic sniper rifle. You know, you, st you still gotta work for it. You know, Fallout 3, New Vegas, they had various sniper rifles. You had the hunting rifle for bolt action, which is what this is. But they got rid of the DKS sniper rifle, or whatever the fucking letters are that's in Fallout 3 that's just called sniper rifle. So, you know, I felt like it'd be nice to, you know, put that in there. Alright, guys. Here we are, nearing in closer to the... Mass... Pike Interchange, that's it. All right, what the fuck is over here? Well, there's a gunner up there, that's not... Well, I'll take the shot at you. Hey, buddy. I'm feeling eyes on my back. Oh, I got him? Oh, goodbye, laser gun. What's this Brahmin doing down here? Are you hostile? Apparently not. All right, buddy. There, mmm, oh, delicious! Oh, that was fucking beautiful! Okay, thank you, dog meat, for holding your meal steady. Okay. Wouldn't that be sick if dog meat could eat fucking corpses? I think it would be sick. All right. Well, I guess this is the way up. Hey, buddy. What's up? Where's your head at? Actually, your head's still there, unfortunately. That's too bad. Too bad. Okay. Alien blaster round and a combat rifle. Hmm. Eh, I guess I'll pick it up. Okay. Any goodies in here? Okay, it's kind of weird that whoever built this shack, they decided to build it into the rock? I don't know, that seems kind of weird. Okay, let's do a quick save. I need to, okay, I guess I do need to click it from here. All right, oh wait, <laughs> it's not down here. Actually, can this kill me? <gasps> no, go ahead, hurry. Ah, oh, what the shit? That's not immersive. I feel really disappointed. Okay, where are these troglodytes? Hey, I wonder, is there any loot on there? <gasps> people. Oh, nope, though. Well, I mean, I guess they're, they're sort of people. Okay. I hope there's not any loot on that shit because I really don't want to go around looting on highways. I know in Fallout 3, there were some that had like things in them. Like there's one, oh. This guy has no idea what's going on right now. I mean, fine by me. What, did I? Style is still in the did I not get any XP for that? That's unfortunate. I don't think I did. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <gasps> oh! No! Ah, Jeeves, take it away! Oh shit. 
Okay. McCready! Get your fucking ass up here! Okay. No, nope, that was a that was a lousy shot. Okay. That was a lousy shot. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! Okay, okay. Th this looks bad. It looks bad, but I assure you, nothing can stop me when I have this bad boy. Alright. E excuse me, you power armored boy scout. I'm fucking looting over here. Where are you going, buddy? Stop trying to escape from me. Alright. See ya. Oh, yeah, goodies. All those goodies. Okay, you got ammo. This is Winlock. What the fuck kind of name is Winlock, my guy? You know what? Maybe I should start, like, keybinding some weapons here. Alright, what do I want? How do I keybind again? Because it's really stupid in this game. Fuck it. Pistol on one. Let's put the shotgun on two. Okay, I'm probably gonna forget these binds, though. So. Okay. But it's okay. Oh, yeah. So, I did add my new- my special receiver to several guns, actually. Like, I gave a cyclic receiver to this gun. I'm not really sure how much it differs, but it does do a little more damage. As far as fire rate's concerned, though, I'm not sure if it really did make a difference. The automatic one's pretty fast, though. Alright, can I- can I jump, please? This is a weird thing in Bethesda games where you can't jump right. Or at all, if you're, like, on a ledge or something. All right, where the hell am I going? Does it want me to talk to McCready? I don't know. All right. McCready, you need to get the fuck up here. Where is he? Oh, I think I just saw... Yep, there he is. See him. Wow, he's like an ant. What is this? A follower for ants? He needs to be at least three times bigger than this. Hey. What do you want? <clears throat> Well, this should send a message to the gunners to stay off my back. But, I mean, they don't know that you did it. I don't know. They just lost two of their best men. There's nothing to worry about. For the gunners, it's always about the bottom line. And they just lost this entire way station, and that cost them big. Besides, they have no way of knowing I was involved. Anyway, I guess I owe you a favor now. After all, you hired me, but I'm the one that dragged you out here. The caps- What did I even pay him? It was such an insignificant value. Well, I wasn't about to let you have all this fun alone. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Tell you what. I'm going to give you back the caps you paid me in good neighbor. I'll still stick with you because that was part of the original deal, but... Now we're even. There you go. I guess we're done here. Lead on, boss. Glad my dialogue choice had any value. <laughs> 200 caps! Yeah, I knew it was nothing. So, I guess there's more, yeah, there's more to his quest, right? Because for a second there, I was thinking I may have, like, because I remember I mentioned, you know, a building that you can't get into until, like, a quest later. And I was thinking to myself, maybe I just conflated two different memories. Like, maybe the building, well, I know the, qu the building had a quest related to it, but maybe I just happened to have him with his quest on at the time. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you know, I need to go steal shit. I want to get his influence up. Oh, I really wanted to loot these thingies. Too much Skyrim on the brain. So, this quest just isn't going to go anywhere for now. So, I guess we can continue with, um, the Silver Shroud. Oh. Hello, boys! Somebody call a doctor! We got a bleeder! That's how we do things around here. Alright, well, the Maparino says there is a yellow thingamabob in this vicinity. Let's see. Charleston... Laundry? Was I already in this fucking thing? I feel like I was already in a laundry thing. Okay, well, it looks like it might be a different one. Lacoff Lacoif. Bingo. Don't know what that is. Permanently unlock new hairstyle. Great. Is it the fucking beehive? No, the hornet's nest. See what the buzz is about. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using that. Oh, I got it! Yeah, because this is where the fucking ship was! That's why I've been in the, been here. Now, everything looks so different now that the ship's gone. But yeah, it's so weird. Uh-oh. Oh, hey! It's Hill Valley! That's not what it's called. It's Bunker Hill. Hmm, you know what? That, you know what? That gives me... Maybe, maybe I should watch Back to the Future. 
And that's been on that's been on my mind recently. Oh, what a what a great movie series. All right, money and ammo. Uh, microscopes. Yes, there are two microscopes right in there. Okay. Uh, ammo, ten millimeter. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Although, don't really care. I don't care for the third Back to the Future. I think that one's kind of lame. I just, I don't know, man. Seems kind of. I think it's a little boring. And they do retread some of the same stuff at the other movie. I don't know. Like, were they feeling nostalgia for just a year ago? Because, you know, the third movie was made back-to-back -back with the second one in, what, 89, I think? Might have, it may have been released in 90. I don't know. Hello, users. Earlier, I said a statue of John Adams. It's Samuel Adams, by the way. I don't know what this one is, but... Caravan or Raider? What? What? I said Caravan or Raider. Which are you? I really don't understand what you're asking. Seriously? This is Bunker Hill. All the caravans in the Commonwealth come through here, and every Raider outfit in the area gets protection money to keep their paws off the market and our homes. So there's only two types of people coming through here. Caravans and Raiders. Which are you? Well, in my line of work, those are not mutually exclusive terms. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. You there. You know, when you stop to ask people... But yeah, if you're going to stop people and be like, Yo, what's your business here? You know, they have to answer before you let them in. Don't have multiple entrances. I could have gone looking around at all the other places before I ever saw you. Hey. Hey. Excuse me. This is the fucking What's guy up? who's been following me around. He was in Good Neighbor. So, you impressed yet? I told you I was a damn good shot. The fuck are you talking about? What the fuck is he talking about? I don't know. I haven't really noticed. Oh, come on. You've got skills. I'm sure you know talent when you see it. Oh, I, well, that was supposed to be funny sarcasm. Actually, I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I thought you might be. Am I? I'm completely self-taught, you know. Picked up a sniper rifle when I was 10 and never looked back. I always thought it was smarter to hit my targets at long range. I mean, why take chances, right? Besides, I had to come up with every trick in the book to survive the Capital Wasteland. Yeah, he talks about, like... Long range stuff. He lived in a cave. There's not much long range you can get in there unless you're in that one middle area with all the fucking bridges and shit. It's a goddamn maze to look for a billy. What were you doing in the Capital Wasteland? I was born there. Lived underground in a place called Little Lamplight with a bunch of other kids. Left there when I was around 16. We kind of had a policy there. No adults. When you were 16, you packed up and left. I know, it sounds crazy, but... Having adults around was something we couldn't trust. And it's kind of odd that they managed to have so many kids there 200 years later. How could a bunch of kids survive without help? Everyone pulled their own weight. Just like a colony you'd find anywhere. We all had our designated jobs and we washed each other's backs. Can you believe I was actually the mayor for a while? Me. Crazy, I know. Yeah, I blew your head off one time, and then I realized you were going to be in this game. It was like, oh, now my killable children mod isn't canon in my head. It's like, you, you can't head canon that anymore. Like, what the shit, man? Why'd they do it? Why'd they bring back McCready? It could have been any shithead in the wasteland. Come back land. down to Earth, space man. Uh, yeah, same thing with, uh, same, same, same thing with Maxon. He was a, he was a kid in, uh, the Citadel. That's it. Okay. Yeah, and you know how did those fucking kids like last for so long? Like two hundred okay, years in there. You're starting to freak me I out. Can't imagine they were procreating in there. And I certainly didn't see any babies when I was in there. That sounds ridiculous. Maybe, but I kept the colony alive for a couple hundred years. Anyway, when I hit sixteen, I ended up wandering the Capital Wasteland for a while. I took the odd job here and there, but things were pretty hot with the Brotherhood of Steel running the show. So I hitched a ride with a caravan and made my way north until I ended up here. Made a pretty decent name for myself before I heard that the gunners needed some sharpshooters. Biggest mistake of my life. They were animals. Killed anything that moved if it got in their way. I went with it for a while because the caps were good, but... I don't know. 
I guess it started to catch up with me. So I quit, which pretty much brings us to now. So there you have it. My whole life in a nutshell. Oh, oh is this what we're doing? So what, what am I going to do here? Am I going to be with everyone except Preston? That might be how it is. Sounds like the road can be a lonely place. Until you meet someone to share it with. I, well, I, I never thought of it that way. Maybe that's why I feel so comfortable telling you all this. Look, I know I tend to be a pain in the ass. I mean, I know I tend to be arrogant and I come off like I want to be alone. Well, nothing can be further from the truth. Being alone scares the heck out of me. And now that we've been traveling together for a while, I'm beginning to realize how much I missed having someone I could depend on. I just wanted you to know that I'm going to do everything I can to see that it stays this way. Well, that's all I had to say. Hope you got something out of all that. I know I did. Oh. I'm half tempted to join the railroad with all this shit. I don't know. People gotta do something, Dad. When did you start to care about sense? It's not that. The railroad is the only one standing up to the institute. Huh. I haven't seen you Gary's before. Wife. If you need Kidney. a doctor, let's get you that examined. That settlement Lucas Miller was talking about, wiped out. Yeah, fuck off. Like, I'm trying to listen to a conversation. She just walks up to you like, hey! So you're a doctor? Veterinarian, actually. And don't give me that look. Bones get set the same way whether you got two or four of them. So let's talk about you and what kind of help you need. Well, I mean, the structures are a little different. You're a veterinarian. I'm an old caravan girl, okay? You learn to take care of the animals, or you don't have a caravan for very long. Then you get ambushed, a couple of friends and family start bleeding out on the floor, and you learn how to patch a few wounds. You learn triage, too. Satisfied? Now let's talk about what you need patched up. Not now. Fine. I don't need to be patched up. Hey, you. Talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. Does my... Does, what does my... Does my character know anything about the railroad? I don't remember. Hey, hey, this is between the two of you. We got a good life here. And you'd throw it all away. Wait, what? All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rock gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sense? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. All right, that's a mod someone needs to build. But yeah, when he said, why would you throw that away? He was like looking right at me. So I was confused for a second. He was just talking to this kid. Ugh. What did the Institute do to you? Well, it's already been established that they're the boogeyman. They, they fucking take up people and replace them. Synths are weapons built by the Institute. You don't know that. You see, boy? Now stop this nonsense. We got customers. Why did McCready hate that? Also, I like how I said this is between you two, but I still got involved hey. anyway. Bars open. Just don't get so drunk you shoot up the place. You, uh... You own this place? Technically, everything is owned by all the caravan companies that come through here. We pool the money together and split it up. But, as far as serving drinks goes, this bar is all mine. Not much to look at. Which caravans come through here? Pretty much all of them. All the ones I know about, anyway. Takes a certain kind of person to brave the Commonwealth trade routes. Don't know what started first, the Bunker Hill Settlement or the caravans. But they're practically one and the same nowadays. Either way, folks need drinks, so I opened up this bar here. Lots of alcohol on tap for you. What's your opinion of Bunker Hill? Honestly, kind of amazed we've lasted this long. We're always one broken deal away from complete disaster. But something keeps this place in one piece. Maybe the old spirits are looking out for us, huh? Hey, let's get some liquor in you before you start asking about God knows what next. Do you have any work? Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not going to send him on that same him? goose chase. Hey, he brought it hey. up, not me. As I was saying, before us Savaldi started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. If the price is right, I might help. Malden ain't the safest of places. I suppose I could spare 200 caps. 
Oh, I can't go more than that? Any idea where he might have fallen? Somewhere northeast of Malden. That's where they found the bodies of the rest of his squad. The raiders tore them apart, mutilated the bodies. Once, the Minutemen held their own against the Institute. But in the end, even raiders were too much for them. You know, I think Malden is that fucking place with the death maze. Oh, gosh. It's okay. I'll find your grandpa. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. And caravans ain't exactly the get-to-know-you type. Less heartache that way. Need a place to stay? Hmm. Grab it before someone else does. This... some kind of motel? I prefer the term flop house. But don't tell my pa that. Gets him mad. When caravans pull into town, they need a place to sleep. So we rent out all the beds we can. So did you want one? Oh yeah, where can I go to flop like a fish? How many caravans come through here? All of them. They kind of own the whole town, but money still has to change hands, so they know which caravan owes what. Bunker Hill is one big money-makes-the-world-go-round kind of place. Raider problem? Pay them off. Supply problem? Buy more. Charge more. Hey, weren't we talking about you renting a room? You need one? This is such an immersive conversation. So Bunker Hill just... Buys its way out of problems? It's all they know. Caravan folk are money folk. And all the people who settled here retired from the caravans. Now that doesn't mean a Bunker Hill boy doesn't know how to sling a gun. But why waste the bullets if you can buy your way out of trouble for less? Hey, did you want that room or not? Not interested. Might want to hit Paw for a drink before you go. Right. I can't believe Kessler keeps this town together. Between the caravan bosses and the raiders, yeesh. 